your presence, John Henry Eaton, is straight to your heart. A good leader can get to you. Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eden. I'd like to have a chat. When I was a child, growing up in rural Kentucky, I had the best friend a boy could hope for, my dear old dog, Honey. Oh, ho, ho, the adventures we had. From Nog Creek to Hagenville, we roamed carefree. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. You... Are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have... I can just have it? For free? Really? Seriously? Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Make it, hon. Friendly as a town around. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. What about it?
It's not like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades, been growing and growing ever since. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshipping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Don't blow us up now. the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let... Those who dwell here in his favored land, attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth and drink the water. Ah, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. Come back if you need something. of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Wait, is that... Looking screen. Damn it. Will cost you. Come on! Hey, Smoothskin, do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me, not even berate me a little bit. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. 
Don't look at me like that. A traveler, eh? Nova? Hello there, honey. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Looking spree. The rest will cost you. A traveler, eh? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge, constructed for a singular purpose. A detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? Don't let me keep you. You want something, or are you just looking to get your ass beat? Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. 
But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? And so now we part. What's shaking? Jo hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh. I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach! Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Absolutely.
good hunting. Try not to die. Got my eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in Wasteland Justice. You hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Hey there. Do you ever question the wisdom in hanging out for a all day? Looking for information I got. Will cost but it'll cost you. Mr. Moriarty, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Right. shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather to behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land You did it! You disarmed that thing! My dad! He... He would have been real happy about that. Thank you. He wanted you to have these. A key in the D to an empty place up behind the brass lantern. You can move in there if you want. Oh, and talk to Mora at Craterside Supply. She can help you decorate the place.
What do you need? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Well, back to work. shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Each of us shall know peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Adam in his glory. I urge you, my friends, come, Drink with me and pray. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> I can tell you're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy... Th well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny, tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Good to see that old house finally found an owner. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. Okay. Come back soon. Welcome to Megaton. 
Please stand clear of the gate. 